once the canopy's up it's really worth taking a step back and looking at it and what you need to be doing now at this point we've just put lots of high poles on the side and these all need to be up but with a slight angle so where we've all tensioned the guys to get the tent standing you might need to go round and loosen some off now to allow you to stand it all up and tension it all out so that it's even and it's really worth just taking your time over this bit and looking back along the tent as you go keep stepping back away from it because you'll notice creases and wrinkles and bits that aren't quite sitting right this end I'm going to start having another look at so I'm going to drop this pole down slightly and this one I'm going to loosen this guy off and that just lets that wrinkle out and then we can start tensioning it all just gently going round, pulling the guys into position. And this is something that you want to do quite slowly and gently. Um, so, tent's up, it's all looking pretty good. Um, I've just spent 10-15 minutes working my way round the tent, tightening and tensioning and looking at the canopy and working out the wrinkles and the only way that you can know how to do that is to just do it lots of times and the more you do it, the more confident you'll get with tensioning and how your guy ropes all interact with each other and and work to tighten the whole tent as a whole. So I've just done that as best I can. When you get angles and pitches in the roof, you usually end up with a few wrinkles across the roof piece and that's normal. And the last thing I will now do is go round and where we've got all our cam straps, they've, they've been tensioned up and they've got dangly tails. Um, I will probably half hitch them, uh, tie lots of knots around the, the ropes to get them out of the way or use a little cable tie um, and bundle them out of the way so that we've not got trip hazards anywhere. Um, clear all your cam buckles and spare pegs and all of your debris away. And that's it, it's ready to go.